Hello beautiful beings and welcome to day 15 of the 21 day intuitive upgrade. I am Victoria Bond coming to you from this glorious glorious planet and also Tomato Coromandel in New Zealand. <laughs> so yeah it is a new full moon it's a new moon it's a new moon not a new full moon it's a new moon today and this means that we are going to look into intention setting new moon is new intentions it is a beautiful place to bring out that diary and in fact my husband and i sat down this morning with our coffees with this glorious view and we started writing down our targets and goals coming into the next year so what we like to do is we like to look at our month we need to look and i go with like the moon month not necessarily the first of the month and always reassess and look at where we are at and readjust as well because readjusting your targets and your goals is really important because we are growing and changing and shifting every day and i'm sure if you have been here from day one you are not the same person that you were 14 days ago 15 days ago in fact you have grown and shifted and most probably if you've been following these videos and taking the action steps you have most probably quantum leaped which is really fucking exciting so intention setting for the new moon what is that about and how can you come into your wisdom and your knowing and get your piece of paper out or I don't know to do a PDF doc if you're more techy than I am I like the good old diary and pen and write down the things that you've learnt in this last month and feel the gratitude for all of those things that you have learnt and then write down some new intentions and some new goals of what it is that you want to bring into this next lunar cycle it is really really potent and powerful to bring out these intentions because without the intentions without the zero evidence goals without the targets really there's not a lot of movement because we can't just rely on spirit we can't just rely on the universe we have to take aligned action it is really freaking important uh, I was talking to my mother-in-law yesterday my, my stepmother-in-law and we were sitting here and we were talking about how we um, oh, this is just so cute I have to show you guys there's my little puppy and my husband <laughs> sorry I'm actually sitting up here on a perch like literally like wouldn't want to fall down um it looks down there to catch me in case i fall <laughs> how cool is that so um i was sitting with my on the step with my stepmother-in-law and um we were talking about how much we've changed and how a year ago a year ago we were like literally like different people and even a month ago we were different people and even after a day you can be a different person now you're not a different person entirely but you're more of who you are if you're on that spiritual growth on that spiritual growth wagon of integrating the shifts and the change and so by talking about the new moon you know you have this chance to set intentions every month basically to go okay cool so going with this lunar cycle you know what would I like to bring forward and what would I like to bring into my reality now and what am I ready to bring into my reality what am I ready to bring in? Good morning, Noreen. How are you? Yay, we've got Breathworks in. Um, so I've got Breathwork session for all of those in my paid groups coming up in half an hour. So it's really exciting. And that brings actually that brings me to the um the point of doing things like breathwork or chanting or yoga or journaling and allowing a bit of a release before your intention setting. Is actually a really potent thing to do as well because you're re releasing so you can receive as well so it's not just about setting intentions it's about actually asking yourself the question what is required here now what space can I create before I set my intentions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to that glorious glorious ocean and set my intentions for the breathwork session for today set my intentions for the month ahead set my intentions for the next year ahead and um, just really allow allow so I'm getting distracted by all the beautiful nature here allow myself to grow and expand faster than I've ever done before 
So what does that look like for you? What does this new moon symbolize for you? And how are you going to celebrate the past month? And how are you going to bring forward this new month and really integrate the changes that you have um, really experienced and the things that I've reminded you of in this 21-day intuitive upgrade? Now, we've got many coaches on here, many practitioners, and I am a coach for coaches and practitioners, and maybe you are too. But as you know, it's really important for us to do the work and to live in integrity and really follow our hearts, follow our soul calling and come into our wisdom. So setting your intentions. How does that look for you? What rituals do you have around that? Usually I'd have a bath. But there's a tiny little bath here, so I'm not going to do that. But I think I might go for a swim in that freezing water hole over there and really have a cleanse before I set the most amazing intentions. Now, I will spend this day tapping into intentions, the whole day. Not just writing down in my diary this morning with my husband, but I will sit, sit there in meditation and I will set intentions. I'll be in gratitude. I'll do any releasing that is required, any cutting of cords that is required. And um, yeah, yeah anything that is required. So what is that for you? And is this new to you or do you already have rituals? I would love, love, love to know. So this is my riff for day 15. We have got like another seven days to go, including this one, because it's 21 day intuitive upgrade. So guys, I've already put a post actually on today. If you want to share your page, even if it's your personal page and you want to connect with people, pop it in that post um, because it's a great way that we can support each other in our businesses, whatever that may be. So I'm really, really excited. And also, oh my gosh, I'm like dying with excitement at this incredible offer that I have for you guys. And I'm so excited to see who chooses it. So much love. I'm going to go get ready for my breathwork session and go ground and go be with my family over there. Love, love, love to you all. And I will see you soon. Bye.